Hey everybody, Magic Al here, and today I want to share with you another cool magic trick. This particular trick I call baseball because it's done with baseball cards, but you can do it with hockey cards or regular playing cards or whatever you'd like. Let me show you how the trick's presented, and then I'll show you how to do it. All right, this is a fun little trick that is done with some baseball cards, and I like to put them in a regular card box like this. But when I open up the box, inside is some baseball cards and a little paper baseball. I take the cards and I set them down on the table like that. And then I say to the spectator, I want you to take the baseball and move it from card to card, saying first base, second base, third base, home. And whenever you get the urge to stop on a particular card, just stop and leave the baseball on that card. So in this particular case, the spectator would have chosen uh, Roy Halliday. I would then gather up all the other cards and I would say it's incredible that you've chosen Roy Halliday and I actually put the baseball away as well. I say it's incredible that you chose Roy Halliday because I actually made a prediction before we started this trick and I wrote it on the back of this box here and look you can see you picked Roy Halliday. That's my prediction. And of course, you'll have astounding applause and amazing uh, reactions to that. But the bottom line is that you have them covered no matter what card they choose. For example, if they chose, um, let's say they chose Vernon Wells. Well, on the baseball, if you open it up, you have Vernon Wells written inside the baseball. So what I would do if they chose Vernon Wells, I would gather up all the other cards, put them away, open, and then give them the baseball to open up, revealing that you chose Vernon Wells as the outcome. Now we have another card here, uh, Gustavo. If they chose that particular card, what I would do is I would reach into the box and I would say, I wrote a prediction on one single piece of paper that's inside this box. And if you look on this piece of paper, you can see the name Gustavo. So if they chose this particular card, that's how I would reveal the uh, result. Now, if they chose, um, let's say, Roy Holiday, I would gather up all the other cards. I would put them back inside the box and I would say I made an amazing prediction before we started that you would choose Roy Holiday. So you've got them covered. What do you do um, if they choose the last card, Russ Adams? It's very, very simple. You gather up all the other cards and you say, you know what, it's absolutely incredible that you chose Russ Adams because I actually made a prediction. And you don't even have to put the cards away for this one, actually, you can just flip them over because I made an amazing prediction that you would choose Russ Adams. Go ahead and turn over the card. And when they turn it over, it says, you selected Russ Adams. So you've got them covered no matter what card they select. It's a great little trick. Like I said, you can do it with hockey cards, you can do it with baseball cards, you can do it with regular playing cards, or any other kind of collector card that you can think of. That's how you prepare it. One card with the name on the back that is the, uh, the, the reveal. The other one, Vernon Wells, is on the baseball that's crunched up into the little ball. Gustavo, or whatever the third card is, is on a slip of paper that's inside the box that is only revealed if, you, uh, if they pick that card. And the last prediction is on the actual box itself, which they will never see unless they pick that particular card. So that's what I call baseball. Have fun, adapt it for whatever you enjoy, uh, whatever types of cards you want to use, and have some fun with this psychic magic trick.